Hey guys, this is Computer Techie. Today I'm going to show you how to make your voice sound like Fred in any video using Windows Movie Maker and WavePad Sound Editor. Um, I haven't made a tutorial in a while where I'm using my camcorder. I've just been using Camtasia, or Camtasia Studio. But in this case I need it because I'm going to use my old laptop and I'm going to show you what the edited audio sounds like. So, uh, my video has no audio, so... I'm just gonna tell. I'm gonna show you um, what my voice sounds like before I edit it. So here's what it should sound like. Hey guys, this is Computer Techie. If you did this correctly, then your voice should sound like mine. Thanks. Okay, so that's what it sounds like before I change it to Fred. So um, you want to make sure that whenever you get your video, you want to drag it down to the audio timeline right there. Makes so it makes this an audio file not a video so you want to publish it and I'm gonna name it Fred and I'm gonna save it into music and I'm gonna click next uh, whoops okay Fred audio um, okay I should uh, it should take a couple seconds just to make the this audio file Hold on a second. Okay, done. Alright, so I'm going to minimize this real quick. Now you want to go ahead and open up WavePad Sound Editor. And um, there should be an option up here that says Open File. You want to go ahead and click on it. And it's uh, you want to make sure this is music up here. And I'm going to open up Fred Audio. Click that and click open. And it should look like a bunch of waves in a second. Like, um, like that. So, um, if it looks like that, that's good, that's normal. So to change the pitch, you want to go over here, and there should be an option called pitch change. Let me find it real quick. Pitch change. So you want to go ahead and click on that. And I would make this number right here 160. And I'm going to click preview right real quick. Hey guys, this is Computer Techie. If you did this correctly, then your voice should sound like mine. Thanks. Um, it doesn't really sound like Fred. You can change the pitch to whatever you want. Um, I, I like it like that, I guess. So I'm just going to click OK. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and play it and make sure it sounds correct. Hey guys, this is Computer Techie. If you did this correctly, then your voice should sound like mine. Thanks. Okay, so, so once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, up here and click Save File. And another thing should show up in a second. Click OK. Okay. So once you've saved it, you can close out of that and go uh, back into Windows Movie Maker and make sure that your original video is on the video timeline. Um, okay, so before you do anything, there should be a little button right next to video. It's a square with a cross inside of it. Click it. So there should be like two of these things. And after you do that, you want to go over here and click Import Audio or Music. And I'm going to select my Fred Audio, click Import. Uh, hold on a second, guys. Um, whenever you import it, the audio should be the same length as your video, unless you uh, change the speed. So it, if you changed it to faster or slower, it's not going to be as long. Okay, so now here's your audio. So you want to go ahead and drag your audio down here to the audio timeline like that and um, if you uh, play it then both the audio from your original video and the audio that you edited are going to be playing together so it's going to sound kind of robotic so you want to uh, right click on the audio beneath your video it should say video whatever right here and you want to click volume and you want to drag that volume all the way down so um, you won't hear the volume from your video, you'll uh, only hear the audio that you edited, and just click OK. 
All right, so um, that's it, and um, you can go ahead and publish it, and you have your Fred audio into your video. Um, I'm not gonna play it because it might screw up. Or, let me let me just check real quick. Yeah, see, it it, it stops. But uh, with any other video, you would have your Fred audio in your video, and that's it. I hope you liked this video. Uh, it was pretty easy. I actually learned how to do this from Airsoft King 125. So go ahead and subscribe to him. This uh he has a really helpful video. Uh thanks guys. Bye. <laughs>